so let me start the new chapter interface python with mysql okay so this is the new chapter and last chapter in sql also okay so uh, this is uh, in this chapter we are going to see how to create the uh, how to establish the connection or connectivity between the python and sql that we are going to see okay just to pull off it is a practical chapters okay but behind the uh, i mean uh, behind the thing you have to learn lot of theoretical content there is a, what are the modules are used how, what are the functions we are going to use okay how what is the use of the functions each functions and modules so these details you want to know okay so how to write the query that is how to write the query means uh, write the code to uh, establish the link between our connection not link connection between the python and the mysql interface so this things we will learn today okay let you go to the first slide okay so uh, why we need this suppose you are asking okay sir we learned python we learned sql why this interface is needed for example if you want to store any data then what you will do for example you can connect collect the data where you can store either you can using by you can store in csv file or a text file or other thing but retrieving the data or manipulating on over the data it is not that much easy correct no if you want to modify if you want to update that is not that much easy like database and security purpose and for multiple usage that the file handling that is a csv file or binary file or text file that's not that much compa uh, uh, that is uh, what is the thing comfortable with this work okay for that case we need the database i all I, i hope you already know what is the importance of database there is rdbms okay so many rdbms are there that is a relation database software uh, management softwares are there among that we as you know we are using the mysql okay so that is our database okay so why we need means for example if you are writing a python program okay you are getting any data so if you want to store into the data by using the by making the connectivity or by establishing the connectivity directly the data will be stored in the database okay in future if you want to retrieve the data from the database also it is possible through the python through python program i'm saying okay so for uh, updating if you want to do any updating or searching the content or storing the content or retrieving okay for example uh, they are saying curd c uh, c r u d that is the create read update delete the four operations this is a basic thing they will say c r u d curd operation that is c means create to create a data create means to insert a data to create a new data okay that is one and read the data that is fetch the data okay already the data is stored if you want to retrieve okay that is read for retrieve okay and that is r for retrieve i'm saying okay then u for update okay if you want to update any mobile number or whatever data if you want to update the data structure will be used i mean the database management that is mysql will be used through the python interface i'm saying okay and last one deleting if you want to delete a particular data it, uh, that for example if you are maintaining for school database system if you, the students has uh, got tc then we can delete the data any students is newly admitted we can create the data for him what are the data his name and number all those details okay that thing okay if you want to update in between if you want to update the class or mobile number email id or whatever you want to update it is possible okay so for this case we need this uh, interface we need to we want to know how to create the interface between the python as well as the sql have you got it you people got yes. what is the usage yes so they given a brief uh, explanation about in schools how the database i mean this things will be used attendance key collection okay many things i think uh, one of our group member also doing the attendance i think rajshekar isn't it his group is doing e attendance rajshekar how about your uh, uh, project is it going on are you thinking about it i think he just put in the is coming in the chat and again chat box is not open <laughs> yeah okay okay you have net issue you find the alternate solution rat sir okay <clears throat> fine let me go ahead so uh, python allows you can see the last point last before point okay i am highlighting python allows us to connect all type of databases okay not only my with my sql okay we can connect with oracle sql server that is of course my sql okay likewise we can connect multiple databases also okay there is not only so python is that much powerful language that's what we come i am coming to tell i am coming to say that to you okay 
that is python is that much powerful language we can connect with whatever databases it have the facility that's what i'm saying okay because for example uh, it is easy also to connect with the python okay for example uh, if you want to connect with uh, some other language c language or c++ c++ okay but it is difficult c language is more difficult to connect with the database of course we can make it i'm saying that but compared to others python is very easy so it is very easy easy are uh, and user friendly expressive language that all we have seen no that's what okay let me see it so they are given that uh, slide now our syllabus we have to understand so what is our concept means how to connect the python program with the sql okay that is the first thing and second thing what are the modules what are the functions which we want to uh, which are all we are using in the connectivity that is the second point okay and third point how to do this cut operation that is create create means if you want to add a data that is uh, inserting a data i'm saying and uh, for update that is uh, retrieving the data retrieving means fetching the data reading the data okay from the sql okay and updating the data modification okay and deleting to delete a particular data or particular record itself or whatever thing okay so these operations that is our main aim okay so this is the three i mean uh, three things we want to know so how to establish the connect connectivity between the python and sql that is the first one second one what are the modules and functions are used in the connectivity process okay what is the use of each module what is the use of each pro sorry uh, functions okay so that functions will we will we will we will go to the uh, we will see in the next slide okay that thing and the third one is the crud operation that is create retrieve that is r for retrieve update and delete okay so this is the three points i mean three topics or three concepts okay we are going to discuss in this chapter this is the uh, summary of this chapter okay let me go one by one okay first we want to know pre request what they are asking means to connect the python with the sql uh, i hope you are installed the sql isn't it have you installed uh, my sql in your computer if you are using computer means yes sir it is yeah fine if you are installed means it will be fine okay then for example you installed python i hope uh, you installed the mysql also for connectivity you can see this thing this uh, i'm selecting this one now at the command prompt you have to log in as administrator login or else if you are logged in as a user means right click uh, right click and run as administrator just to open the command prompt there is cmd prompt okay just to press the uh, windows r and cmd type we just uh, in run run command you just type cmd or command okay then command from the black color uh, screen will comes okay so i'm just doing for you you can see cmd you just click means okay this is the command prompt okay or else you just using the windows means directly just click command okay so right click and run as administrator okay in this method you have to open it have you got it Yes, the screen is visible because it's showing some internet connectivity that's what okay so likewise we can open the administrator privilege okay because in this privilege only we can install the this is very uh, closed to the operating system so that's what we have to open in the administrative privilege only normally if you are installing any operate sorry any software means not necessary but this type of programming software or database software means it is high end software so we need it okay then we have to type pip okay that is pip pip is installer okay python installer so pip install my sql dot connector okay then internet is required that's what they 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 also given in the second point you can see for this process because you want to download the my sql connector what is my sql connector sir it is a software or it is a program okay so it is you can see in the second point i am highlighting to build the bridge okay that is bridge means to establish the connectivity between the python and the mysql we need one specific uh, special program okay that program or we we can take in as a software also we need a software that is called mysql dot connector okay so first we need to install that one okay for that purpose only i'm saying so we have to install the mysql connector just by typing this command not in double quotes just directly you can type it okay pip space install space mysql dot connector okay then as they given very clearly okay the connector will works on mysql 5.7.3 i already asked to install 8.2 uh, sorry 8.0 isn't it see is have you 
right for example see minus 8.0 okay so 5 is a basic if you are somebody try may installed 5.5 okay if you are using means i will not work okay just to go for the upgradation versions because the compatibility will not be it will not be support that's what i'm saying okay so install this one this is very important today it is your task okay today you have to do this as a homework or what okay uh, complete this process if you are having the computer uh, that is computer means laptop or desktop uh, try this one okay you want to know it so because you are using the you are going to do in the project that time if you are saying sir i don't know sir how to connect it means that's not my problem i will say that i will clearly i am saying that okay so i am teaching now today you just do the process what error or if you are facing any error means don't hesitate to call me that i will guide you okay or else i will just okay. give some supports you can easily internet is in your hand also too okay you can search it why i am asking telling this things means if you are doing the extensive search okay in the google or i mean in the internet if you are doing the extensive search you will learn, you will learn a lot of things okay that's what i am saying so first install the software that is very important okay so or else they can ask me they are asking the download the connector d that is development.mysql.com if you are just typing this i mean hyperlink actually it is a link so you just clicking the link means you can download it okay better i am suggesting first method is very important very easy okay so in the black prompt it will be get downloaded automatically it will be get up uh, updated i mean uh, sorry installed everything installation will be happen okay so whenever you install this means you will gain more knowledge okay so do that okay anybody completed this process not yet okay today just try okay everyone those who are having the computer just try it okay so those who are not having the computer just you also try with the, your friends computer or somebody else okay it is needed okay let you go to the next one okay once the connector is installed you have to ready to connect so the connector is installed means now we need to establish the connection between the python uh, i mean uh, uh, through the program which program mysql dot connector through the program we are connecting to the mysql that is the database okay so how to do this means they are giving very step by step okay open python like this very simple you have to import on package what package sir? that is package means that is a module okay i already said no what are the modules which is involved in this process okay so this is the module import mysql dot connector have you got it import mysql dot connector this is the mysql dot connector is a module have you got it so that is module means it is a package is one of the package in the python okay this package provide all the functions why why we need to install this why we need to import this one sir if you ask the question means as you know as i said now it provides all the functions which functions are used to or helps to create the connection or fetching the row or i mean to get the retrieve the data from the sql that is very simple connectivity between the python and sql okay which functions are help all the functions are defined in this module you already know what is module package everything no so that's what here mysql is a package name connector is a module name okay in this module many functions are defined have you got it hello yes sir yeah so for that we need to import the module that is by giving the highlighted statement that is import where we need to type means normal python program you are typing no in a, suppose we are using the pycharm or whatever thing so in ideally even in ideally or uh, anaconda that is spider or jupiter whatever uh, id you are using so the same id you can just type it okay import mysql dot connector once you the command is okay means then it is showing that the connectivity is okay okay how to check sir very simple you can see open the connection in database like this uh, the rest of the things i will teach later the cursor instance and all i will teach okay so uh, now we will see is literally how to work it okay so how to check sir i installed the software sir suppose i am saying that refer the video while you are installing this okay so you may say that sir i installed the software sir i now i want to check whether the connect connectivity is properly meant or not that is made or not if you want to check very simple i will show that one minute so i created one thing one minute i am just using the normal ideally as well as i am using uh, spider so not an issue i already said no just type this normal prompt normal com i mean uh, uh, python prompt okay 
uh, in the script mode i just open import mysql.connector okay i'm just saving this file i'm just running this file okay that's all it won't show anything so it we won't get any error see we didn't get any error no the program is ended no so that means what the connection is successful okay or else we can make a print statement also that is not a matter so once you run the query i mean sorry not query once you run the code if it is runs without any error means the connection is successful that is the meaning have you got that have you understand this yes sir mm -hmm. what about remaining students have you all understand understood this concept after a long time one boy will say yes sir is it what about remaining okay understood sir okay see that's why i need more okay so by just running it i am running for you again you can see one minute it's perfect okay so i'm just running see the, the it will because i didn't ask to print anything okay if you want yes, to print it, it will print it okay for the many example programs you might see in your uh, if you are refer the internet means many websites are there okay uh, print successful like ways okay it will print it okay just for easy thing confirmation if you run this query if the module is properly installed the connector is i mean the program is properly installed it is made they establish the connection between the python and the mysql if it is okay means it won't show any error okay that i will close this program okay you can see this let me go to the again okay so let me go to the next one you can understand the remaining things and all i will tell it okay first to learn this one and uh, you got and then open the connection in database okay and uh, create a cursor what is the cursor i will teach it later i mean now okay so that's what i'm saying importing mysql dot connector so just import mysql dot connector as i so no so likewise you also try we are giving the alias name as ms ms is what it's the alias name we are giving for mysql dot connector okay we instead of it's a little, little bit lengthy you no know? for that we are giving a short name okay nothing is have you understand importing and checking the connectivity so two things are there first you need to install the software and second thing is what you want to check whether the you properly installed or not by just running this command what i mean sorry running this code part code import mysql dot connector that's all okay let you go to the next one okay so now we are opening the so yeah, connections okay whether it is accessing the sql sir whether we can able to access the mysql mysql my database whether it can be accessible or not if you are asking the question this is the syntax okay now we are we want to create a connection okay connection software is okay that is mysql dot connector is working properly now we need to create literally the connection between the python and mysql okay how to connect sir one function is there there is a first function no down is connect function okay connect function you can see this okay this functions are all defined already in the mysql dot connector Okay, that module it is defined. Okay, so you can see the connect function is used to uh, retrieve or establish the connectivity between the Python and MySQL. This is the first function. Okay, so you can see the syntax connect of. We are passing these are all arguments. You can see how many arguments. Host host means server name we need to give. For uh, for our case we don't have server. No, we are having individual machine only. Machine means individual computer only. Local host. So host will be a local host. User means user name. Okay, it may be admin or it may be a root which you installed at the time of installation. It is asking the username, password, no login password and uh, uh, administrator password. Everything it will ask, no. So that one while you are installing MySQL. Okay, that one I am saying. Okay, user the username you have to type very clearly. This slide is given. Password. Okay, you have to type P A S S W D, not fully password. Okay, P A S S W D equal. This is all. what type of argument means what type of argument can you say this are what type of argument three type of arguments you studied in the third chapter isn't it what are the three type of arguments default argument portion hmm. argument portion argument okay this argument highlighted is what type of argument hmm Hmm. Portion argument. Is it portion argument? 
keyword argument or named argument okay because we are all, uh, assigning the value here only no host equal to what type of host username what is the username password what is the password okay and database database means you know in our sql we are using the query use database or create database database name like this we create you know the same thing okay so that for example our database is what ncert we create one database yesterday we used commerce database isn't it so the database equal to you have to give commerce or ncert whatever name the database name we have to give okay so this function this is all the things are mandatory mandatory means this i mean uh, values and all values means the arguments sh we should pass there in the connection uh, sorry connect function okay the connect function is already defined in the module that is mysql that connector module okay so this is the first thing so by passing this function i mean by calling the, this is call statement okay by making the call statement the call statement will create the uh that is are established the links are not link connection between the python and the mysql okay that is the first thing that's what i said what you have to type local host generally we are using local host suppose server system for example we have one server we have to type it, uh, its ip address okay have we got it or a server name if it is connected interconnected through lan or whatever networks okay so that time we have to give okay generally i said username will be root or if you are giving a specific name is you have to give password is what password you have set okay that you only know okay so that things and all you have to give database which you are going to use okay that database name we have to give have you got it have you understand this one hello sir yeah you people are doing some other works except to silveram silveram also i think not active ma sir no sir actually i left and came sir some network issues oh, okay. okay so this is the contents of how to so you learn you learn now uh, how to create the i mean uh, establish the interface between the python and sql how to install the my uh, mysql dot connector program and how to use how to import in the python how to check it whether the install the software is the module is in, uh, installed properly or not that all we see and we have we already already we have seen that by using the connect function connect function we have seen okay what is the use of connect function what are the arguments we need to pass all those things we learned that okay let me go to the next one okay so first for example if you want to connect the with the sql directly you can see i am teaching this code one by one okay import mysql dot connector this i already said if you want to give alias name you can give it here they are given alias name as mys okay that's what we given it you can see my con it is an object what object sir for connect function we need object because what the use of connect function the connect function only they are creating the or establishing the connectivity between the sql no so for that we need object very simply i will tell file handling if you if you, you create a uh, on file so we create a file object no can you remember it yes, if you want to access the file yes, sir. file object through the file object only we can access the file isn't it likewise here database is a file likewise i'm saying an example okay so here also we need one object that is called here the database object the database object you can see my con that is my connection for that you can give whatever name a equal to b equal to or else your name or whatever we can give okay so generally they will give my connection or my con this is a default one likewise in loop we are using you no know, for i in range i is a default value likewise okay so here also they are using the same term that is a word we can use whatever identifier as per the identifier rule we have to follow okay so my con equal to, it is an object what object the database connectivity object Okay, m uh, my yes. What is it? M y s. Actually, we need to type my SQL dot connector dot. That is connect function. Okay, my SQL is a package. That is alias name yes. for the. Ah, yeah, connector. Yes, connector is here. Module and connect is here function, isn't it? We have to type my SQL dot connector dot connect. But instead of my SQL dot connector, we given as you said, we given alias name no because it is too lengthy. for that case we are using the alias name so yesterday also we have seen about the alias name and previously also you learned in the fourth chapter how to give the alias name for the package isn't it so refer that also 
okay my that is my mys dot connect of course i said no we have to pass the arguments host value root password okay then database which database okay we have to given this uh, this values okay for example they given host equal local host there is single quote or double quote you can use any one quote okay and root equal to sorry user equal they given you root and password they set is admin what is your password in your computer while you are install the mysql no in your computer that time what password which you given so that password you have to give or else whenever you are opening the mysql no that time you are it is asking the password the enter password so that password you have to give here okay then database equal to suppose before that you have to create a database okay or else through the Py, uh, program also python program also we can create a database but that's not, not that much required okay just create a database by opening the sql and you can give database name okay then if mycon is connected it is another one function first we have seen the first connect function now we are going to see is underscore connect function okay the given the what is the use of this you can see is connected sorry connected not connect function connected okay is underscore connected function return true if the connection is established if the connection is okay properly it is accessing the sql okay the python is, program is accessing the sql means then it will return true okay so it will return false if any error is there or any any problem is there in the connectivity means then it will return what false okay so you can see here so the function will return something no it will print if it is the condition is true okay then it will print sec print successfully have you understand this one hello yes sir yeah today just so try another to... lesson, sir. which one i have to tell again which line sir and the mycon is equal to mycon yeah mycon is a file object no so through the file ob uh, sorry not file object i'm sorry database object no so the database we created no so that for the database i mean for the connectivity object is the connector object not database object connector object because the local host admin i mean root password and the database everything we are giving the one object is called as mycon okay so mycon dot is underscore connected function it is one of the function which each one is underscore connected function the is underscore fun connected function will return true whenever the connection is okay successfully if we created the connection means it will return what true if any error or if any problem is there in the connectivity means it will return false false means it will show the error that's what okay you can see that's what we are using the object that is the mysql object mycon we is fixed okay suppose you give a means a dot okay whatever thing okay here we set is a mycon my connection that is my connection dot is sql sorry is underscore connected function we are running if the function is, will return true, no? When it will return true? What is the use of the function? It will check the connectivity. The connection. Correct, no? Yeah, it will establish the connection. If the if it is it is established, it means what it will return? It will return true. Correct, no? So that is the my connection. My uh, the is the underscore connected function will check the connection is true that is connection is established successfully or not if it is successful means if it is connection has made means then it will return the true okay so if it is if condition is true means we are asking to print that what print statement print successfully connected have you got it have you understand this program so it is a first it is your first program to create or to establish the connection between the python and the mysql have you got it okay yes sir but let me go to the try this uh, this also okay this today's one okay for example uh, this is not needed for example they already created on table in normally so, uh, the table is named as emp MP, uh, emp is a table it contains the field employee number name department salary okay so th this is the, just a table for your understanding purpose okay let me go to the next one and now we are going to the important concept in this one okay very listen very carefully the cursor function okay the cursor function is very important because it only do all the works okay so we need to create the cursor object okay cursor means you know where the pointer will be there like as a pointer here we have to say it's a cursor okay so where the action want to be done whether it is a great for creation i mean inserting a record 
or for deleting a record for updating a record or whatever thing okay searching a record or whatever operation we are using this cursor function is very much important you can see it is useful control structure control structure means where the cursor want to be it will uh, we can control the cursor cursor means you know where the pointer or pointer means the blinking line in word and all we are seeing the cursor no if you start to type where the cursor is there there only it will type if you uh, pressing the delete option where the cursor is there then only that that part only it will get deleted no likewise okay it is a control structure which one cursor is a control structure okay you can see when we fire a query fire a query means whenever we raise a query raise a query means whenever we write a query again okay raise fire okay it's a new word when we fire a query to database fire a query means whenever we trigger a query for example we are sending a query or we are uh, of course that is send is a proper uh, word i think so from python we are sending a query or we are firing a query to the database which is doing this one means it is executed as a result set what is result set means set of records okay what is set of records i will teach it with the live example okay so how the data how the uh, control will be or how the query will be triggered or how the query will be sent to the uh, sql means in the send in the form of result set result set means it is sent in the form of records okay so that's the you sent over the connection d actually it is not key okay send over the connection in the one go in one go means all together all the query will be sent as a single statement single set of uh, records single set that is result set the result set may contain number of records that is a set of records okay it's not just the theory part you want to know the practical one okay that is very important okay and uh, many things are there i will teach it one by one you can see to create cursor first we need to create a cursor means we need to give a cursor name okay cursor name equal to connection object connection object means what is our connection object in the last program what we kept as a connection object no my my con my connection my con c was it no my y m y s is a alias name that is optional okay my con my con is a uh, that we have set as a uh, what is the thing object connection object in the last program that's what okay we can create our own whatever name okay it's the same name as we have to follow the identifier rules okay so you can see here it's a cursor name like it's a cursor object also too okay it's a cursor name we are giving a name for a cursor okay cursor equal to that connection object dot cursor function we are calling the cursor function okay so this is your third function which function in the sql first one is what we have seen connect function to pass the argument host to local user i mean uh, local password everything no user password database this follows we have passed as argument in the connect function that is a connect is a first function is underscore connected it is that function is used to check the the connection is established or not just for checking purpose checking function that is okay this is your third function which one the cursor function okay yes okay so very clearly why i am saying step by step third point fourth point why i am saying means you want to clear what is the module we are using how many functions we are using the function name is very much important okay if you don't know the function name you cannot do it okay so what is the use of the function what the function is doing actually it is uh, executing that you want to know okay now it is a cursor function the cursor function just just creating the cursor where we want to set okay for example they given example my cursor it is a default value okay likewise we can give a default name not value we can set a b c whatever name as i said no as a rule for identifier we have to follow here also too. okay so my cursor is a name which is given okay my con i already said no connection connection object okay dot cursor function through that we are calling the cursor function the function is defined in the connector module okay it is in the, the connector module is present in the my sql database sorry uh, package sorry my sql package have we got it that's what my sql dot connector okay first line we written we written no and next one so once the cursor is set means we need to execute certain thing no so if you want to execute one more function as you seen in the slide execute function this is your fourth function okay execute function this is the Uh, literally, it is works the function. It is make the make to be true. 
I mean, this making as a true, whatever we are doing, if you want to insert a record, if you want to delete a record, okay. So everything will be happened through this execute function. We are executing literally, okay. So we have to use the execute function to send the query to the connection. To the connection means the connect connection object. Through the object, the database will be accessed, correct? No, then the, the execution will be happened in the database. Okay, we are not opening the database. But through the Python program, we are doing all the works. Okay, in the backend, that's what we are saying. It's a database. It's a backend software. Okay, frontend, backend is there. No, no. Uh, Python is our frontend software. The database that is MySQL is our database uh, backend software. Okay. So now you can see cursor underscore name. That is a uh, we are giving a cursor name dot execute query. Which query we mean, sir? Is it any special query as a not like a same query? You can see in the last point. My, for example, my cursor is ever. What is my cursor? Can anyone say what is my cursor? What is my cursor? Cursor object. Cursor name. Correct. Yes. Cursor name. This is execute. Is a what is execute? It's a function. Very good function. So inside the function, we have to pass there. Uh, there is argument. The argument must be a query. Okay, query means you can see. Select all from EMP. That is a normal no. What is the fun, uh, this query we are used in SQL also no. So what the uh, command will do? What the query will do? Or what is the use of this query? Select all from EMP means what? Select all the hmm. records or data from the EMP. Very good. Select all the records from the table EMP. So it will select all the records from the table EMP. EMP is a table. Okay, that's what I show on the table also too. It contains four fields, no? EMP name, EMP number, EMP name, salary, and sorry, department and salary, no? So this thing, whatever thing is there, that it will show. Okay, same thing, okay? So this is the way we have to write the query, okay? So this is your fourth function. First function is what? Again, for recap. What is the first function? Connect function. Connect function is establish the connection between the Python and SQL. Like first thing, is underscore connected function. That is your second function. This function is not the second function is not mandatory for just for checking purpose. It's a checking function. Okay, if you want to check the connection is established successful or not. Okay, so for this case we have used the function. Okay, which one is underscore connected function? Okay, and the third one is. Cursor function. The cursor function is used to create a cursor for us. For us means for the programmer. So then only the programmer can execute the query. Execute means whether you want to display all the records or you want to insert any record, you want to delete any record, you want to update any record. Whatever operation we are doing, no, I already said the CRUD operation. Create, retrieve, update, delete. Okay, whatever operation if you want to do. So through the cursor only we have to do. So for that we have to use the cursor function. So we have to give the name for the cursor also. Okay. So then, if you want to execute that query, means of course we have to use the function called execute. Have you understand the four functions? Have you yes, understood? Very good. What about remaining? Is it understandable? This is a very important topic. That's what I'm asking this much time to you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Fine. Fine. If you have any doubt, means please ask. Don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Once you have stuck with anything, means that's all. Okay, you can see uh, my con. What is my con? What is my con? Can you say? Hello. My C O N. They given no. What is my con? It is a connection object. Very good. Okay. M O I S is what? That is always name for my S Q L dot. My cursor is what? Second, third line it mentioned. Cursor, cursor? cursor name. Very good. Okay. So through that object we are accessing the query. Okay. That is cursor object means my cursor is a cursor name we given us. Okay. Through the object we are executing the query through the execute function dot that is my cursor dot execute then which query that's all. Okay. So we are just uh, writing the code. This is not actual code. Okay. This is the just example to understand. The cursor object, connection object. Okay, how to execute the function uh, through the execute function? This things and all for showing this. This is an example for cursor. Let me go to the program. Okay, 
so before that uh, many functions are there that is a uh, four things we you want to know okay fetch all fetch means retrieve okay retrieve all means it will return all the records in the table in the form of tuple that is very important okay always the sql will return all the data in the form of what tuple do you understand yes sir yeah good so fetch all means it will return it will return all the records return all the records means all the record will be retrieved retrieved means fetch fetch means get or read it will read all the records records means you know each line each rows okay fetch one fetch one means only one record okay that is also in the form of what tuple only okay and for example fetch many third one fetch many means we have to uh, pass the number okay fetch many of n n means number fetch many three means first three records it will return have you got it hello again second time fetch see read read line read lines these functions we use it in the file handling no likewise fetch all fetch one for example fetch one means one fetch many means number of records you want to find that number we have to mention fetch all means all the records okay like this okay row count it is a keyboard okay it is a key a special word in that uh, in the uh, there is in this uh, python is especially my sql uh, uh, module okay in this package okay row count uh, will return number of rows retrieved okay it will just giving the confirmation so much i mean so far how much row retrieved retrieved means get from that or got from the my sql to python so we are getting no from uh, my sql so how much row we retrieve retrieve means how much row we read read means getting what we got okay that it will count automatically okay by using the word count row sorry row count sir which many in the zero solution sir which many for example a table contain 10 records 10 rows are there there are 10 records are there okay suppose you need only the first three record okay which many of three if you pass the three as argument means it only return what return means it will get fetch only what first three records okay second time if you execute fetch many of three means then four five six record will be returned have you got it read yes sir we are using no in file handling read function read of five means first five character it will read second time remaining character likewise okay so like that here fetch many functions so these functions so fetch all fetch one fetch many the four three things is functions one more special words is there that is row count it will it will tell the number of rows are retrieved from the my sql it will be given the form of number okay that is the thing four things are there in three functions also there have you got it fetching means of course they given in the topic extracting yes. and extracting the word that is getting the uh, retrieving the Uh, records from the my sql okay this is the content okay okay then fetch all functions how to use all the functions and all i will uh, teach it okay before that i will just write uh, show on program to you how to write into the database okay one minute let i open my database so this password no that password only have to execute okay now let we create a new database or else we use our database use ncrt okay so now we are using ncrt you know i will just closing this or else minimizing this one it is not needed i will just show one example one minute yeah you are seeing one code no import mysql dot connector this is what we are importing the function my db that is my database what is my db it is a connection object correct no this is a connection object so mysql yes, yes. dot connector dot connect function for example if i give as we can give alias name also so for example my if i give means what i have to give instead of this one i have to type my only have we got it okay so for first time yes, i am typing the full thing second time you can use the alias name and all not an issue same also first you want to know the concept okay mysql dot connector dot connect function host my host is local uh, sorry i will maximize it local host okay so everyone is local host only pass uh, root is that is my username is root only i given and password is what i given i don't know one minute pa because the screen is hiding for me yeah 
my password is 12345 okay so that is the password i given for my sql likewise you can give one password okay database and just using we let we use our database what is our database ncrt no ncrt okay. so ncrt is a database okay now i am just keep one minute okay let us maximize okay so now you can see my cursor dot my db dot cursor what is the, it is a cursor object which one my cursor is a cursor name or cursor object we given okay so my cursor equal to my db what is my db what is my db it is a hello it is a connection object no my db what we given my db yes. equal to connection yes. object okay so through the connection object we are using my db dot cursor function have you understand is it audible to you what time is yes, sir yeah, fine so my db dot connect cursor function we are using okay so here after we created a cursor object no so through the cursor object only we have to do all the works okay now you can see my cursor dot execute execute is a function you already i thought no what is the use of execute function to execute anything means we have to use execute create table i want to create a new table okay create table let me give a name okay so shall we give what name my table my table is a name okay so create table table name and we are just uh, we, we are giving the value you know name where care okay and it is a 50 i just given it is not needed i am just giving 20 okay and address Okay, two fifty five is there, not needed. That is twenty and just giving. For example, so I created two field. What is the field name? First name is name. Name. That is where address. Data type comma address is the another one field. Two field I want to use it. Okay. For example, student is there. How many records? Okay. I'm just avoiding. I'm just typing a just a print statement. N equal to we are getting an input statement. Okay. In top input top. How many records do you want to do you like to enter? Okay. Suppose I n means by using the for loop I'm executing name equal to I'm getting the name add that is a uh, what is the thing it is a variable to receive the address. Okay. So both the things will be in the string. Okay. S Q L it is a very it is a variable. Okay. Equal to query. Okay. What is the I want to insert the value no. Hello. I want to insert this value no. Insert into yes sir. Uh, what is the table name? What we given as the table name? My, My table. Yes. Okay, insert into table name and values. We no need to give the value directly. We can give okay name comma address. That is what field name. Name comma address. Then values. Have we got it? Here we need to mention the field name. Have you understand? Have you understood this one? Yes, sir. Okay, name. Oh, sorry. Okay, name comma address. Then we have to give values of percentage. Yes, percentage. Yes, I just given. Okay. What is person? It's a string value. It will occupy. Okay. Again, comma another one string data type. Okay. If even though you are getting a number in in MySQL, we have to pass in the form of only string data type. That is one notable thing. Okay. So percentage yes, percentage two values I am going to pass. You can see val equal to name comma add. What is name? Name is a variable. So this contains what? Enter name. We ask to know that name will be stored in the variable name. Okay, add is a variable. It receives what address? Enter address. I'm getting input. No, so that address will be stored in the variable add. Okay, like with A B C. Okay, we are just giving a variable. That's all. Okay, so now my cursor dot my cursor is a cursor object. Okay, through that I'm executing what? I'm executing SQL comma val. Now I said no result. That is the result set. I said no result set or set of record. This is the result set. Okay, it will be passed as together. Okay, first SQL is a query. Okay, we can give sir. We should use only SQL as a whatever variable. Just use a variable. You can give A, B, C or whatever thing. Not an issue. Have you understand? So we have to pass this one SQL comma value. Okay, because percentages percentages we given no what value want to occupy that is name and add that is name is one variable addition is uh, sorry address is another one variable. Okay. Then we I have to teach one new function. This is not in the slide. Uh, commit function. Okay, you can see commit is one of the function. Commit function will make the permanent change. 
okay if you do any changes means whether it is properly stored or not we need to know no suppose i store one data whether what is the use of database to store the data permanently and securely and safely correct no so for that we want to ensure the security we want to ensure the safety whether the data is stored properly or not okay so for ensuring the data has reached the sql safely and stored in the data in the table table and database safely and properly means to ensuring that we have to use one uh, function that is called commit function what function can you say hello which function is ensuring the data has stored properly or not okay let i also be quiet huh? is it my audio is audible hello i hope the audio is audible isn't it because i can able to see the mic audible yes. audible but you people are not at all opening your mouth huh first people why i don't know hmm? you can see this uh, you can see my there is commit function will ensure the it will commit it will execute the properly it is executed properly okay now we are just printing my cursor dot row count row count means how number of rows as i already said no row count will add number of rows are inserted or executed okay here how many rows i inserted it will count automatically okay so my cursor dot row count comma record inserted just i want to print this message that's what okay so record inserted five records i already said row count will tell in the form of number okay five records inserted two records inserted like that okay so we execute this one i'm saving this file it's normally i'm just pressing the alt f5 you can see so how many records you want to enter okay so i just want to enter uh, three records so enter name first time just asking i am asking uh, typing one name and address i am just giving okay and one record inserted that is which one is showing one row count function the row count function will tell number of records are uh, executed not inserted executed okay so one record is properly inserted okay second name okay i am just giving raj okay i'm just giving another one name address okay another thing so three times with the loop will execute no huh? so that's what okay i'm just giving another one uh, uh, just run c giving address uh, hn okay so i'm just giving so record says entered the program is over okay so literally the now this data is stored in the successfully in the database let me see the database i will, I will open the database for you okay this is our database no so which database we used i will choose the show show tables okay see our table is what what's our table we what my table sir my table yeah so i am just opening the select all okay select all from my table now you can see the data is stored no so what we ins inserted it is successfully stored in the database have you understand that so likewise we can insert the data we can retrieve the data today uh, you learned how to insert the data into the table okay once you know, once you learned how to insert then only you can learn what how to retrieve how to retrieve only one row that is one record only if you want to uh, get means fetch one okay i want to rec uh, uh, retrieve two records fetch many of two okay uh, i want to retrieve all the records fetch all the three functions are there are we understand now have you understood yes sir okay fine so today just go through this again this video just go through it okay type this code install the software okay so today i hope that you have to complete this task okay will you yeah fine so remaining students actively you have to participate that is i i need from you 
if you are not act actively participate means it is not my mistake I, i hope that i'm teaching so if you have any doubt or any uh, doubt or clarification i already said don't hesitate to ask you can ask me okay during the class or itself okay don't wait for the time okay so i already said uh, please do it because it is very much important concepts okay do it today itself okay thank you to all thank you sir